idea of borders is actually interesting to me, um, mostly because I want to contest the ideas of borders. I want to contest ideas of what does it mean to be within to be within a certain border uh, that describes your identity, be it a language border, a territorial border, uh, a class border. And I think that the work of poetry is there to um, look at how we come to be the people who we are and contest that. Um, and maybe one of the reasons why I'm interested in it, because where uh, the borders of the place that I come from have not changed, everything else has changed. So I come from Eastern Germany, uh, and now I live in a very different Germany. The borders have not changed, except that a wall in the middle has disappeared. But um, everything else is pretty much the same. So there are many invisible borders that um, collapsed or got erased again, and that uh, sort of interests me. One of the things that I realized when I spent time in Brooklyn and then came back to Prenzlauer Berg is um, how much different language politics play out in Berlin and how we are actually uh, not so much aware of or not implicating the multilinguality that Berlin has into our uh, everyday life. Then I recently moved to southern Neukölln and realized that the idea that I had of Berlin was actually very limited one and that some things that I've been looking for in Germany that I, I have in New York, uh, a multi-ethnical, multilingual, uh, sort of side-by-side -side reality has been, you know, existing in, in Germany all along. And um, when I go to the playground and I talk to a small child and he doesn't answer me and then come another child comes on and says he doesn't speak German, he's from Albania and I say, well great, where are you from? And I'm from there and um, that just that just opens up, you know, a space that I feel really is alive and is, is important and needs to needs to be widened and um, is very uh, important for my work as, a, as an artist, as a writer. What my language got interested in is meeting this other language and sort of trying to tear the border down between those languages. And that's become sort of a very driving force within my work to uh, contest uh, monolingual spaces, which also are these border spaces with, uh, with the means of poetry and with the means of translation as a poetic practice. False Friends, my, my, my second book, False Friends, actually was hugely influenced by my moving back and forth between America and Germany. Um, I first started to live regularly between the two countries since uh, in 2006. Um, and even though I'm fluent in English, what you experience when you start to move uh, into another language is language slips, mistakes, uh, and the ground where language really um, uh, becomes slippery. Not not only the other language, which you're constantly feeling like you're navigating uh, a new slippery space, but your own language. And that's actually the, mm, the part where I am you know, most interested in, interested in as a poet. I'm, I'm taking this word um, like, like gift, which is a German word, and it means poison, but it's an English word and means a gift, a present. And you put those together in a poem and really start to play with how you mistakenly, you know, read this word and what does it mean to have a word that is both a gift and poison. Um, and the funny thing is that I played with this in this really, you know, uh, space of poetry, but two years later I saw a headlight uh, um, 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 in a tabloid headline in a tabloid, in a German tabloid, that said gift im Adventskalender, which means uh, gift in the advance calendar, which we make for children. We usually have sweets and, 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 and toys and presents, but not gift, not actual poison. But suddenly, of course, it made total sense it would be gift in an advance calendar. And, and so it almost is like the world caught up to the play that I imagined in my poem. And I like these moments of, uh, of, of maybe visionary play that a poem can do.